Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will learn about the introduction to embedded system and we will be focusing on hardware interfacing. Before that, we will recap a few terms to make you familiar with this lesson. Do you know what is embedded system? Correct! An embedded system is the combination of software, hardware and firmware. Next, what is hardware interfacing? Hardware interfacing is an architecture used to interconnect two or more devices together. It includes the design of the plug and socket, the type, number and the purpose of the wires, and the electrical signal that are passed across them. Do you know any external devices that can be interfaced with PIC microcontroller? Many external devices can be interfaced with PIC18 such as switch, LED, motor, buzzer, sensor, LCD and so on. However, before that, you have to know the minimum hardware connection for PIC to enable the microcontroller to operate properly depending on the task or specific function. First of all, you must know about PIC 18 pins. From the diagram, you can see the PIC with 40 pins. A total of 33 pins are set aside for the 5 pops, namely part A, part B, part C, part D and part E, with their alternate functions. The rest of the pins are designated as VDD, Ground, VSS, Oscillator 1, Oscillator 2, and Master Clear Reset. Next, we will describe the functions of each pin. Two pins are used to provide voltage supply to the chip. The typical voltage source is 5 volts. Some PIC18 family members have lower voltage for VDD pins in order to reduce the noise and power dissipation of the PIC system. Then, two pins are used for the ground. In chips with 40 pins and more, it is common to have multiple pins for VCC and ground. This will help to reduce the noise or ground bounds in high frequency system. PIC18 has many options for a clock source. Most often, a quad crystal oscillator is connected to oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 pins input. This quad crystal oscillator must also be connected to two capacitors. Note that PIC18 microcontrollers can have speed of 0 Hz up to 40 MHz. Pin 1 in the PIC18 is the master clear reset pin. It is an input which is active on low. When a low pulse is applied to this pin, the microcontroller will reset and terminate all activities. This is often referred to as a power on reset. Now that we know, the pin connection of PIC, we can identify the components connected to PIC18 from the diagram. As an example, we will use one unit of PIC18F4550 or PIC18F4580, one unit of 10 kilo ohm resistor. 1 unit of 270 ohm resistor, 2 unit of 22 pico farad capacitor, 1 unit of 10 MHz crystal oscillator, 1 unit of reset switch, 5 volt power supply and ground. Each component should be connected to a pin that has been set as shown. By pressing this reset switch, 
the master clear reset pin is supplied with zero volts, causing the microcontroller to reset and the program execution to start from the beginning. A 10 kilo ohm resistor is used to prevent shortening the 5 volt DC rail to earth from occurring when the reset button is pressed. Oscillator unit is basically a clock generating circuit which is used to provide proper clock pulses to the PIC chip. The clock pulses are important in assisting the timing and counting application. You have to watch another two videos of demonstration to complete this lesson. Now, let's watch the simulation of minimum hardware connection for PIC microcontroller by using Proteus Design Suite software. Let's watch it now. This is an example of schematic minimum hardware connection for PIC18 by using Proteus. To make your PIC microcontroller function, you can freely connect it with a few components like LEDs, 7 segment, switch, buzzer, and so on. You may add more functionality of microcontroller depending on the application you want. Student, please observe the difference of LED blinking patterns and 7 segments count in this video simulation. <music> 